Well, this week we are saluting our First Coast nurses, superheroes in scrubs as we're calling them. And I caught up with a recent Jacksonville University graduate who has spent the past month working in New York City in the emergency room there, caring for severely ill patients battling COVID-19. As the number of COVID-19 cases skyrocketed in New York City, Kanan Maffeo left the comfort of his home in Florida and headed north, signing up to work in the emergency room at Bellevue Hospital. Some of it was about coming up here and to learn and see and observe and that kind of stuff, which I've learned a lot um, since coming up here, so that's great. Um, and then the other part was just helping people out. Help that was desperately needed as more than 43,000 people have been hospitalized in New York City with COVID-19 and more than 13,000 have died. For me personally, the ones that are on ventilators and stuff, it's almost, it's about four out of five pass away. It's kind of a shock. I didn't expect that many people um, to not survive once they were on the ventilator. Working the overnight shift six days a week, the father of three has missed several milestones as he's worked on the front lines of the coronavirus crisis. Alexa is my oldest. She just turned six while I was up here. Uh, and then I have a, a three-year-old and then my youngest just turned two while I was up here too. You know, we're, we're serving the greater good and I'll get to spend some time with them when I get back. He spent what was supposed to have been his graduation day from Jacksonville University's nurse practitioner program here in the ER. When my coworkers up here found out that I was missing graduation down there. They threw me a little impromptu mini fake graduation in the ER and uh, <laughs> videotaped it. It was, it was nice. A bit of a bright moment there in the hospital in Canaan. Thank you for all that you're doing to help patients and to all of the superheroes and scrubs out there. We salute you.